Hi children, how are you? I hope you are all fine at home. Children, are you enjoying your holiday? Yes, enjoy well your holiday and eat fruits and plenty of water. Okay children? Okay. I am Rekha from PMHNU Nadar Saraswati Public School. Okay, let me move to the lesson. Yes, now we are in grade third standard. The subject computer science topic communication and software lesson number is one. So we are going to see what communication, what are the types of communication. For communication we use uh, languages and uh, software types with example. Okay children, let's we move. Okay, now we see about what is communications. Okay. What is communication? So, the people learn and share information through communications. The people can share the information called through communication. Next, people pass the idea and feeling from one person to another person called communication. They used to share what? Their ideas and feelings to one person to another person called as communications. Okay, children, we see the communication model. How they are communicating? The boy and the girl. Sender, first one is sender and the message passing is the receiver. Okay, if a boy send message to the receiver and the girl reply to the messages. Okay, children, that is the sender and receiver. In school, you used to do know if you pass any information. You inform to whom? Inform to the nearby friends. That is passing information from one person to another person. That is called communications. Okay. Then these are all the means of communications. Computer through radio, telephone, newspaper, cellular, television, letter and magazines. Okay. Next we see about what are the Types of communication. Here we see the two types of communication. One is verbal communication and the second is non-verbal communication. What are the two types of communication we are going to see? First one is verbal communication and the second one is non-verbal communication. So what is verbal communication? The sharing of information among individual orally or written format known as verbal communication. So we are passing information through oral format or written format. Okay. Now let's see the picture for what is oral format and written format. Okay children. So these are the two types of verbal communication. The first one is what? Verbal communication through oral format. And second is written format. So what is oral format? That is we are passing information through video conferencing or voice call, voice chat called as oral format communication. And written format communication is what? That is sending, writing letter and sending a message or email. That is called written format communications. Okay. Next we see about Non-verbal communication. Already we see about verbal communication. Communication two types. Verbal and non-verbal. Next we see the second type of non-verbal communication. So what is non-verbal communication? Non-verbal communication is a process of communication through sending, receiving wordless messages. So we are sending and receiving the message without word. That is called wordless messages. Okay. We see not all the types of non-verbal communications. Okay, the first is body language, second facial expression and the third is sign language. So these are the three types of non-verbal communication. We see some example of body language. So these are the body language communication and next is facial expression. And third one is what? Sign languages. With the help of sign, we can identify what they are going to express. Okay, children. So, these are the three types of non-verbal communications. Okay, children. Then, the communication 
also for animal takes place through sound and the act with the help of sound and with the help of the action the animals can communicate from one animals to another animal okay the communication between computer and human done by using languages how the human and computer communicate by using languages okay children now we see about what is languages and types of languages so we see the first types of languages first is the low level languages and high level languages okay in low level languages they used in first generation and second generation and high level languages they used in third generation fourth generation and fifth generation computer we are using high level languages okay children now we have to see about low level languages so the low level languages short form we mentioned as triple l l l l it is a programming languages that deal with the computer hardware components okay what are all the computer hardware i will show so what are all the computer hardware the parts that is outside that is visible that we can touch that is called computer hardware let's say example has monitor cpu keyboard mouse so these are all what visible and we can able to touch okay that is called computer hardware components used to deal with the programming languages that deal with the computer hardware components is called low level languages and the low level languages is a machine readable form of program is used to, to read by the machine easily next is the what are the all the advantages of low level language if you are using low level languages what are all the advantages first is less storage space runs fast and useful for writing a system program system program is to write easily so these are all the advantages of low level language next we see the high level languages so high level languages means what we I mentioned as h l l high level languages okay it is also the programming languages it enable programmer to write program independent of a particular type of computer okay the programmer can write the program independently and hll that is high level languages will be a human readable form it can be read by the human easily so we see the what are all the advantages of high level languages it is easier to read easier to write and easier to maintain so these are all the advantages of high level what are the three advantages of high level languages easier to read easier to write and easier to maintain already we see about hardware now so these are all the parts of hardware and software so what are the hardware cpu monitor mouse the regulator and a telecat so these are all the computer hardware and what are the software the microsoft powerpoint microsoft excel microsoft access and microsoft word so these are all what the software okay children next we see about the software what is software so software is a set of instruction or program that instructing computer to do the specific task a program instructing the computer as the computer to do the some specific task called as software okay we see about types of software what are the three types of software one first one is system software second is application software and third is utility software so what are the types of software system software application software and third is utility software we see about now system software so system software it manage the hardware components used to manage what hardware components already we see the what are the hardware components cpu monitor keyboard mouse telecat are all of the components so used to manage that is a system software and the system software written in c program language so c is a language is a programming languages okay children next we see some example of system software so first one is a operating system these are the example of system software operating system printer driver 
and and the last one is hard disk analyzer so these three are the example of system software next what is the application software the second one is first one system software second is application software application software can be a single program or collection of small programs so application software is what is a single program or it is a collection of small small program called as application software and we see the example of application software that is microsoft office adobe chrome google mx player and here they mention some example of application software okay children next we see the third software is utility software okay first is system software second application software and third is utility software so used to perform services as editing text debugging program to correct a logical mistake used to do if you write the text it is if you written the text wrongly used to edit and debugging the program and used to to correct the logical mistake any simple logical mistake you will make so used to to correct in the program called as utility software and also transfer input output devices to another so input and output devices to transfer from uh, one computer to another computers okay children next we see the example of utility software so these are the utility software example that is virus scanner screen saver disk defragmenter and register cleaner so these are all the example of utility software okay children next we go to the exercise are you clear about communication languages and software yes okay now we move to the exercises can we do so first is match the following so where is the verbal communication so verbal communication consist of oral format or written format so where is the oral format yes this is the oral form of communications okay second one is what the non verbal communication so where is the non verbal communication the non verbal communication consist of three languages body sign languages have no facial languages so first is where is the non non verbal communication picture we have to do matching yes the body language they are doing that is a non verbal communication next third is microsoft word okay then fourth where is the printer driver yes here is the printer driver and where is the application software where is the app yes the angry bird is the app in application software okay children do you understand okay just recall the lesson again and again okay children okay thank you